Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for mid-October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Pisces. And as always, it is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading if you want. So let's see what's going on with Pisces. Overall energy for mid-October. All right, we have Twin Flame. Okay, so there is a very, very deep connection here, okay? Divine Soulmate could be a Twin Soul. Um, it doesn't matter what the label is. The point is, is that it is a very deep connection that you share with another person. And that means that it's going to have its ups and downs. And it also means that there are very big lessons that you learn from each other. So... Let's see what's going on here. Also keep in mind, the roles can definitely be reversed in general readings. I can't remember if I said that or not. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see. All right, so starting off, we have the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so it feels, <clears throat> it feels like somebody is not moving forward in this connection, okay? That's what it feels like. And, and it could be about trust. And I feel like I was just saying that to, I think it was, I think it was Scorpio. Either Scorpio or Cancer it was one of the other two water signs. Um, we'll see. All right, so recent past, we have the Page of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, for you, we have the Three of Wands. For them, the King of Pentacles. More for you is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For them, the Eight of Wands in reverse. And the potential outcome is the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, Pisces. I feel like in the recent past there was <clears throat> there was a little bit of movement or maybe possibly some communication. It does feel like we have quite a bit of pentacles, so maybe some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Could be. Um, so yeah, for you we have the three of wands and the ten of pentacles in reverse. It's like you're waiting. You're waiting for something. You're thinking about something though too. Possibly about this connection, right? But I feel like it's something more specific than that. So we'll see. I'm also getting it's like at the moment you're feeling like things are not very stable. Um, like you just don't like this. This connection doesn't feel complete at the moment. It's also coming in as you feeling like something in your in your environment is just really, really off. For them, we have the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this person wants commitment with you. But they're not communicating at the moment. And like I said, I do feel like there was some communication in the past or at least some kind of movement in the past, even if it was just a little bit. Coming up, though, we have the Knight of Cups. So definitely that's some kind of love opening up, possibly even communication which might even feel a little bit emotional or that you might be able to see the emotions behind this, this communication, or maybe this is you. But then it almost feels like it kind of then disappears again. But we'll see. Because it's like it's coming in and then it's kind of like taking a break. But we'll see more when we clarify. Uh, definitely this is not the end of this situation. If we have the Twin Flame card, this is not a connection that is just, you know, done. So if that doesn't resonate with you, this might not be your reading. All right, so let's clarify. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Ten of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh, two tens in reverse. All right, the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Again, we do have quite a bit of Pentacles showing up here. 
All right, Pisces. It appears like, the, you know what, here's the thing, it's like, it feels like this is not moving forward. I feel like if this is you, or whoever this, this person is here, it's like it appears like there's this giving up. Maybe on both of your sides, maybe. Definitely on somebody's side. It's like no movement, no trust in this path. That's how it appears. But it's like you both know that this is not done because you, you just feel it. It feels incomplete. There's still a burden here that needs to be released and I feel like it's just not. And what that burden is, is feeling this pain, like feeling like this is not done. It's not closed. It's feeling painful and I can't even really fully feel that, allow to feel, myself to feel the pain of, the, of an ending because it's not even really an ending. It's like it's painful but you can't even get wrap your mind around actually experiencing this as an ending because you just know it's not. Um, it's hard, it's, it's really hard to manage this because it's like, because <clears throat> you're feeling both. You're feeling like, well, this isn't going anywhere. Like this, it's like this path is blocked off, right? Because the Ace of Pentacles is the challenge here this new path on a practical, it, it's feeling like on a practical level, like this just cannot happen. And so it's very confusing and it's very difficult to cope with the feelings of, yeah, but it's not done. So it's, it's almost like this feeling of being doomed, like I'm always going to feel this because it's just, it can't happen, but it can't be done either. So it's like being stuck in the middle. Very frustrating. All right, let's see the three of wands for your energy. Here he is. Please don't sit on the cards. Now look at this first card out for you. We have death in reverse. So just pretty much confirming what I just said. And the fool in reverse. Yeah, it's like you're just waiting. You're thinking about this connection and you're just waiting. Like, I don't even know if you know what you're waiting for because you don't feel like this can move forward. I don't, and I feel like you don't want to take any initiative. Maybe you feel like it's a risk and that there's a big risk involved here. Um, if you get involved with this person, but you also can't let it go. Let's see the 10 of pentacles in reverse. The Page of Wands, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles showing up again. <clears throat> also have the Four of Wands fell out of the deck as well in reverse. Okay, so specific message for some of you. This could be another situation here that, that you might be involved in. And if that's the case, I feel like that situation, like Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, both in reverse, it could be like family, it could be a commitment, it could be a marriage something along those lines, that is not really working out. And I don't know how it relates to the situation, but I feel like it's throwing things or you a little bit out of balance, all right? With the Six of Pentacles being in reverse here and then the Page of Pentacles, it's like because you, you're, you're having to dis disperse your energy to whatever this situation is, it could even be work for some of you, but it's like work where you feel very committed to this work. It might even be um, studying for some of you. Whatever, whatever that is though, it, it's like it's taking up a lot of your energy. And I feel like even though you do have... <clears throat> you do have this drive, you want to communicate with this other person. I feel like there's a situation here that's going on for you where it's, it's just taking up all of your energy, basically. 
but I do I do see you wanting to go back to that page of pentacles, right? Which was here in the recent past, which I said was some kind of input, some kind of movement, some kind of communication, some some kind of a something. I feel like you do want to go back to that. But then at the same time, you're also feeling like, yeah, but but this this can't work. So like, what's the point? All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this King of Pentacles. And again, roles can be reversed. Always keep that in mind. All right, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Did show up sideways, um, but. I'm getting that this person, yeah, this person is somebody who is very stable, somebody who is self-reliant, somebody who is very sure of themselves, basically, and very sure that they want this commitment with you. So I'm actually getting, okay, if this is, unless the roles are reversed, the main situation here that I was talking about, that it's, it's, it's your energy, not theirs, because, because they still want this. They still want this. Let's see that Eight of Wands in reverse for them. All right, Nine of Cups in reverse, the World and the Knight of Swords. It's like this person is, um, Yeah, they're not communicating at the moment. They're not communicating at the moment. They're feeling like they're just not happy. They don't like that they're not communicating. They they know that that is kind of going against their their wishes and their wish fulfillment because they do have this drive. They do have this urge to actually like come rushing into you. But there's something here that they need to close out. There's a cycle here. There is something um, that a chapter in their lives that needs to end. And I feel like that's why they're not they're not communicating. All right, let's see. The Knight of Cups. Or even, you know, they're feeling like this is just that this is done, you know, um, that you're the one that needs to come in in that way. Oh, give me a sec here. I kind of feel like there was like a blending of your energies. Yeah, because this person does want the commitment, but they're, <laughs> it's, yeah, they're holding back. They're holding back, but I feel like I, I can't really explain it, but there is something here that is reflecting from them to you. I'm not going to try to analyze it, but there's something here that is reflecting from them to you. Or from you to them. Kind of like a mirroring. So something that is going on with you there's something similar with them, except that this person, when it comes to the connection with you, they, they want the stability. I feel like they're more ready to close out whatever it is that they are closing out in their own life. All right, because they have the world. All right, um, so the Knight of Cups for the energy that is coming up here. We have the Knight of Pentacles again in reverse and the Emperor. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so again, it's like somehow love is opening up, love is showing itself here, okay? And I feel like it's mostly going to be you because this person I feel is already there. So I feel like you are open opening up a little bit more to to this possibility to this potential but I feel like you still feel like on a practical level like it's going to be difficult and so I feel like it's more of you opening up emotionally rather than actually taking practical steps however we do have the emperor and that's actually a very good sign because I see you being 
standing more in your power regardless. Wanting to take some kind of a control here over the situation and over your own emotions. Even if it's just the emotional aspect for now and not the practical part. Okay, let's Page of Cups in reverse, potential outcome here. The High Priestess, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Alright, I see. So regardless on wh which person you are here, <laughs> okay, because I do feel like for a lot of you it's going to be, um, the roles are going to be reversed. Um, this communication that is coming up, some emotions will be revealed, but there's going to be a lot of holding back, all right? Um, I feel like this person is going to come with an energy, whoever it is that takes that first step, it's going to come with an energy of, um, like not fully being honest, like it's not going to be like, yeah, you know, I miss you I, and I want to I wanna talk to you. It feels like it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit deceptive but not not necessarily in a negative way it's just that this person doesn't have the confidence to completely tell you how they truly feel okay that's why the page of cups is in reverse that's why we have the high priestess it's like <clears throat> holding back information possibly finding an excuse finding an excuse to talk to you so that there can be some kind of a justification so this person for example um whoever it is whether it's you or them <clears throat> might find a work-related reason to talk to you or um, I can't think of anything else right now, but you guys get it. All right, so something along those lines. It's not going to be completely upfront, or <clears throat> this um, this communication might even just be a little bit shadowy. Again, it's because they don't have the confidence. So, for example, it could just be hitting you up on social media, right? Just <clears throat> giving you a heart or or a like or something like that. a little confusing Pisces <clears throat> but I'm hoping that the main messages did come across all right so for the final messages we got two cards we have the new moon a new start is coming and we also have the new moon in Gemini all right two new moons here communication is key so yeah I'm going to leave it at that, Pisces. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and much love.